a story that has impacted me myself. Narrated by Imam al-Bazzar. He says, I used to be an officer in Mecca. I used to be an officer in Mecca. One day I was doing my patrolling and then I was so hungry. I did not have money to buy any food, he says. As I was doing my duties, going around patrolling, I found a little bag. I hold that bag, I carried it, I picked it up, I opened it, and then I found a necklace. A very expensive necklace. I went back home, kept it there, and then went out, trying to see if somebody can buy my necklace, and then I heard somebody, a sheikh, saying, I have lost a necklace. I have lost a necklace. I have lost a necklace. Please help me. Anybody found my necklace? Anybody found my necklace? Imam al Bazar catches him and then takes him with him. Can you come with me? He took him home. He says, Could you please describe your necklace to me? So he described the necklace and he says, Imam al Bazar says, It is exactly as the necklace that I have found. I gave it to him and then he was so happy, the man. The Sheikh was so happy. He says, Allah khair. He took 500 dirhams or riyal or dinar at the time. He took 500 dinar and he says, Here it is. The man says, and Imam says, Wallahi, I will not take no money from you. He says, No, I have made an oath. Whosoever finds my necklace, I have made an oath to give him this money. Imam al Bazar says, No, Wallahi, I will not take no money from you. I will only take the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whosoever leaves something for the sake of Allah, Allah will replace it for him for some, with something that is better. And then he says, days in, days out, months later, Imam al Bazda decided to leave Mecca. So he went to Jeddah, catch a boat, he wanted to catch a boat, and then he wanted to leave, go somewhere else, seek rizq. So he caught that boat in Jeddah, and then he went. And then subhanallah, the sea, the ocean was so rough, the boat sort of broke. People who did not know how to swim drowned. Imam al he says, I held onto a piece of wood. And I swam to a shore to the closest village. There was an old village, and in that village there was an old looking masjid. I went to that masjid. I did not tell them who I was. I went to that masjid and I just sat there praying with people. And then there was a book, you know, Quran, an old copy of the Quran. I went, I picked it up, and then was reading from it. They came to me, and they said, Oh, Sheikh, you know how to read? He said, Yes. He said, Could you please teach our kids how to read? He said, Yes. And he says, I benefited a lot from it. And then later on, they realized he could also write. Yeah, Sheikh, you know how to write, mashallah? He says, Yes. He says, Could you please also teach us how to write? He said, Yes. So he started teaching them how to read and write. They asked him to become the Imam of the Masjid. He became the Imam of the Masjid and he says, I benefited a lot from it. They came to him one day and they said, Ya Sheikh, Wallahi, we love you so much. We don't want you to leave our town, our village. Would you like to get married? He said, sure. And then he said, they said, there is this girl. Would you like us to talk to her? She comes from a very wealthy family. Would you like us to talk to her? Imam al Bazar says, sure, go and ask her if she agrees, I agree. And then she, they go, they, they went, they told her that the Imam of the Masjid, would you be interested in marrying him? Of course she accepted. The night of the wedding, he goes to see his wife. He has not seen her. He goes to see his wife. All of a sudden, he starts staring at her chest. She felt so heartbroken. She went out crying. This man is not after me. He did not marry me. He married for my money. He was staring at my necklace. He was staring at my necklace. They came to him, Ya Shaykh, haram alayk. You broke her heart. You were looking at her necklace. You're not looking at her. He says, let me tell you the story of the necklace. This is the story of the necklace. It is that necklace that he found so many years back in Mecca. It is that necklace that that girl was wearing. And then they started making takbir. Everybody said, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. What happened? She is the daughter of that sheikh. That sheikh, when he came back from Mecca, he told them, oh people, I met a boy, a young man in Mecca, such a very kind man, such a very 
pious man. I've never seen somebody as kind as him. Oh Allah, make me see him again so I can have him marry my daughter. So many years later, Allah answered the call of that man and he married his daughter. Don't despair off of the mercy of Allah. قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَصْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Say, O oh my servants who have transgressed against themselves, do not despair off of the mercy of Allah. Allah forgives all the sins. Put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Make dua, rest in assured that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shall answer it bi-ithni Allah.